Okay, today I am excited that I have HG Models brand new 12 scale uh, P802 tactical mobility truck. Um, I'm going to put this box up here on the counter. It is a big box. I just got this in. Uh, I got this one off eBay. You can get it on Banggood or AliExpress. Um, I waited until eBay had one of their 15% off coupons and bought it. And I'm excited because I like the quality of their, their Bruiser clone. And I'm expecting great things here. So let's get this box open and see what we've got in here. I haven't seen any good information on this truck yet. Okay, we've got two boxes in here. corners to protect the box. Just put those in there. Okay. Box has a carrying handle. Came in great shape since those plastic corners. Obviously they use the same box uh, for two different variants. This is the P 801, which is the, the truck version, and the P802, which is the tractor version, and that's what we've got here. Now, this is a scale model of a real military truck built by Oshkosh Defense, and it's called the HEMT, H-E-M-T-T, A4, and what that stands for is Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. Uh, the U.S. military uses these for everything. Um, it's basically their pickup truck. The uh, P802 variant would be the M983A4 Patriot Tractor. Uh, it's 12 scale, and so let's get this thing open and see what we've got. First, I'm going to open this little box and see what's in here. My guess is... Okay, manuals and decals. Probably the controller. And we've got some small details. Okay, these are mud flaps. Wrenches, extra nuts, stainless cable for some reason, and some extra screws. So that's in the in the small box. Uh, the controller is uh, three channel, exactly the same one that comes with their Bruiser clone. Looks pretty good. I like the little details. Manuals here. All right. There's two separate manuals. carry case has magnets to hold the lid and you can see how nicely our truck fits in that carry case that is really beautiful okay 
pull this thing out. Give me some straps here to pull it out. First impression is wow, this is huge and it is beautiful. The detailing is just fantastic. It's, uh, get in here with the camera in a little bit and do a walk around, but uh, this is a beautiful piece. You can see the size of it. And it is really nice. Look at the bottom. Wow, even the bottom shows a nice amount of very scale detailing. Really beautiful. That's fascinating. Uses cable steering. All the front wheels turn and it looks like cables turn. And we're going to get in there and dig into that a little bit here. Suspension. Feels really good, nice and tight. It's not not really a crawler, but uh, has good suspension. Looks fantastic. I'm going to give you a little quick size comparison. I've got a Tamiya King Hauler here, partially assembled, which is a huge truck. And you can see the, the size comparison of the P802. It's massive compared to a King Hauler. With a trailer, it'll probably be five feet long. Okay, it's got clear lenses, be very easy to add lights, clear blinker, clear tail lights, looks great, wow, details terrific. We got here, door latch, doors open, full size, yeah, full size open. Beautiful interior. We're going to get in there in a minute and get a little closer view. I'm really pleased. This thing looks great. Okay, let's shut that off for a minute. All right, let's take a little bit uh, closer video here. See our suspension working. Look over the other side here. Big truck. All right, I'm going to open up the door here. They have an operating door latch. It's going to be hard to film, but maybe you can see some of the interior. Really nice. Even uh, even has pedals on the floor. Instrument panel. Instrument panel looks like it's capable of being backlit. There's detailing inside the door. Door handle and door panels. Little uh, mirror here flips out. It's rubber. Look at these gas cans are really nice. This is uh, going to lend itself well to super detailing, which I plan on doing a lot of. Our exhaust cover. This is metal, and I really won't be able to get too much of a view inside here. But the engine is amazing. 
uh, I can make out the turbocharger detail, the engine detail. The electric motor is housed inside the engine. So, perfect place to do a lot of extra detailing, which is the thing I like to do. Um, come back here to the side, moving back. This opens up. Okay, that's electronics in here. It looks like uh, we've got a speed control and some kind of a some kind of a circuit board. I'll have to figure that out later. Hidden away inside the gas tank. As we move further back. We've got two servos here. One of them is the shift servo. The other one is a servo that operates the, the latch for the trailer disconnect. Hey, that, that piece is metal. Holy smokes. These are metal. Frame rails are metal. Uh, also, I noticed all the screws are button head screws and they're Allen heads, um, which, is, which is super nice. I wouldn't have expected to see that. Battery tray sits back here on this vehicle. I'll find a different place to put that. Moving around, you see the shackles, clear tail lights. It'll be very easy to light this up. Move around here to the other side. Start here at the at the back end. Again, lots of beautiful detailing. Almost all of this is metal. Um, in here, we've got our winch cable with a piece of like burlap rope on it. That's kind of funny. This opens up, and our receiver is inside. Spare tire, again, opening passenger side door. All the windows are, are fixed. Nice seat detailing. Um, really good detailing inside. Front end, probably see through the windshield a little bit. Um, transmission humps detailed. Steering wheel, windshield wipers, um, clear light lenses for both the headlights and the blinker lights and the uh, accessory side lights. Now up underneath here is the engine grill and that's removable with screws and as we saw in the instructions that's where they've designed a mounting location for the sound speaker. Okay, let's flip this up on its side. Metal guard. Now, these are the two steering servos up inside here. And uh, they run a cable that runs through the cable steering. And this is our steering cable right here. So the steering is cable controlled. I looked at the manual briefly and just saw the adjusting procedure. It looks pretty good. But we also have the cable steering here for this axle. So you can see that these cables pull these in and out, pull our steering trunnions, and give us steering on all four front wheels. I'm going to have to investigate this a little closer, but it looks pretty straightforward and uh, saves a lot of linkage. Also pretty darn scale looking. The transfer cases or transmission cases look really scale. Lots of extra scale detailing on the bottom. A uh, little bit of paint and this is going to look just like the real thing. Just back here a little bit. Um, as we move back our transfer case, there's our plug for our battery. 
And then same thing on the back end. Very scale looking leaf springs. These are metal. Metal pieces here. I think even these cases are metal. Um, I see a standard hex hub adapter, adapter in these tires. Nothing really unusual on the bottom, but very nice looking. I think this could be detailed as a very nice scale model. Actually, it already is. And plenty of room inside here for, for uh, lights and sound. Well, that kind of gives you a close-up overview. Um, Okay. I'm going to flip through this manual. You can see this is the operation manual. Gives you your standard instructions. How to operate the controller. This switch right here is your third channel. This is pretty generic. Just talks about steering, how to install the battery. This is the interesting part. This is the steering set servo setup, and you can see the cables. They give you a diagram here of how the cables are laid out and how they operate. And this talks about how to adjust the steering. I'm gonna I've never seen anything quite like this. I don't see anything unusual about it. It's similar to steering in a boat. Okay, shift servo. They call it a grinder servo. <laughs> okay. Speed controller locations, um, motor locations, just kind of a general overview of everything. Here's a schematic system of the sound and lighting system which I don't have but is available I'm sure from HG and an overview of that how it works extension lighting how that fits into the remote so that's that manual Other manual is the assembly manual, chassis structure and instruction sheet. And this is complete assembly as if you were building this from a kit. Um, it shows the, the pickup truck, the truck version, and the tractor version, the different parts here. And so it goes through basically assembling the transmission, hiding it inside the engine, which is really cool. Assembling the detailed engine. You can see better detail here than I could show you on the truck. Assembling wheels, servos, transmission, differentials, steering. Really nice to have a manual like this that shows you the breakdowns of everything. Rear axles, rear suspension. This is kind of a nice manual because it gives you an overview of how everything looks that I might not have been able to show in the video. Assembling the rear of the Chassis, rear suspension, drive units, installing the engine. Looks like you're building a real truck here. Engine cover, cab, shows you detail locations for some of the decals. This is a pretty good view of the interior. You can see the seat assemblies. 
Nice thing about this manual is I'll probably do some disassembly when I paint it. And this will help me. Attaching the body to the frame, truck bed assembly. That's the P801, which I also have, and I'll review that pretty soon. Final assembly, decal locations. These are stickers. And then the 802 tractor assembly, the, the parts that differ. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, this shows the trailer, the radar trailer. Um, they use this truck to tow Patriot missiles, radar trailers, flatbed tra uh, trailers with equipment. And then a parts list with basically every part all the way down to the screws which are all Allen head, very nice, bearings looks like it's got ball bearings in it, I don't see any breakdown for sleeve bushings so that's the overview of the manuals Well, I'm, uh, I'm excited about this truck. Uh, I'll tell you, HG Models is doing a fantastic job. I have not seen anything really with this kind of quality in a long time. Hard plastic shell, metal parts. It weighs probably 10 pounds. Opening doors, door latches. Uh, you know, they've tried to do a great job of hiding things like our uh, speed controls and receivers detailed engine with the electric motor inside that is it is just crying for extra detailing. My plan with this vehicle is to do a series of videos installing lights, installing sound, uh, detailing the engine, detailing the entire machine. Uh, I planned originally to build a trailer with a bulldozer, the military bulldozer, and I'll do converting a brooder bulldozer to the military version uh, and building the trailer. But after I saw that, that uh, radar trailer that they offer, we'll try and get my hands on one of those too. Um, so I'll do, I'll do videos on, on all aspects of it. The next video will be a running video. Uh, but here's what you get. Got the truck, controller, uh, the operation manual, the assembly manual, mud flaps, extra parts, and kind of a bonus, really nice carry case, super heavy duty with a magnetic latch. And it comes in a well-protected box. If it runs as good as it looks, I'm, uh, I'm very happy. I've always wanted a uh, military truck, U.S. military truck, uh, this, this style, and this is just, uh, just fantastic. And for what you get, priced pretty well. All right, on to the running soon. Thank you for watching.